So when I woke up this morning, I did the same thing I do every morning. I opened up TikTok, huge surprise. But the first video that I saw, the very first video, really has been in my head all day long. I've been contemplating talking about it. But you know, without getting too far into it, if you do anything at all, just please watch this. I think it's about a minute and three seconds long video about something that really needs to be addressed. So with that being said, let's get into it. Let's do it. 21 people this morning at the table and like they were firefighters. So it's, it's fine. It's good. Their bill came out to $200 and two cents. So we gave them a discount for everything they do. It was 10%. So it came out to 186. And um, then one of the servers decided she wanted to help cover their bill. So she paid $100. So their bill came out to Eighty-six dollars, um, they left a hundred eighty-six dollar tip, and my boss made me tip out the cooks, so I did, and she made me give back the hundred dollars to one of the servers. So a shift that I wasn't even supposed to work today I made sixty dollars today. I fucking hate being a server. All right, so believe it or not, there's a lot of stuff in that very short video that has not only needs to be addressed, but has been addressed. And this will be in no particular order, just in the order that I feel as if is most appropriate. Number one, this is one of the things that got addressed at the very end of the video. Um, she was talking about how it wasn't even her shift. She just came in that day. She picked up a shift, helping out. It's awesome for her. I'm sure she's had a long week already. She's probably working either another job, has school on top, or just has an overall life. And she went out of her way to be there on that day to walk out of there with only $60. Now, by all means, I just want to say something real quick. This is still a job. I get it. It's a commission-based job. It's a tip wage job. You should kind of be grateful and happy with whatever money you can get when you go in and whatever money you leave with is more money than you went in there with initially. I get all that. I really do. But I truly feel as if the people within the industry, the restaurant industry, such as you know servers, bartenders, barbacks, food runners, managers, just even the owners in general, I feel like everybody within the food industry um, has really been taking a hit recently. And this isn't exactly something that's new, but it's definitely coming to more light now because of such a shortage of within all jobs, really, but especially that in the restaurant industry because people are still trying to go out. They're still trying to get food. They have money now, but no one's willing to work these jobs. And this lovely young, young lady was willing to do that, and she didn't really leave there with anything more than uh, about half a minimum wage, I'm assuming, for the hours that she worked. Now, let's start from the beginning of the video. She addressed the fact that she served a group of firefighters. I actually, like, I absolutely love that. But being a server, you can't really always do everything you want to do for, you know, the community, especially those that are always willing to help you, such as, you know, fire and rescue, and is that the police department, first responders, all that. She was not lucky enough initially to have one of her friends, another server that she was working with, offer to pay $100 to the tab. That's absolutely fantastic. I love that. In addition to that, her location did a 10% discount for you know fire, rescue, firefighters, whoever else might be included for that group. Um, not every place does this, um, believe it or not, and I've seen some places go upwards of 50%, um, and that's awesome. But a lot of small businesses, especially now, can't really afford to do that. Um, so it's kind of like that weird gray area that like we want to help, but we also really can't. Um, and it, that's just, it's just a, such a tough thing to have to sit there and have a conversation about. So initial tab is $202 with a discount of $186. Um, it went down to uh, $86 after the other server had paid for the $100. That's awesome. But the group ended up trying to tip the total, you know, tip the bill, which is also great. I love that. But of that $186 that this lovely lady, or lovely lady had gotten, her manager forced her to have to tip out the cooks in the back of house. Now I'm actually for usually for this. You know, kind of share the wealth, share the love. I get all that. But here's the part that I actually have an issue with, like the true part that I have a problem with. It seems as if this was a pretty pretty slow shift, probably like either a day shift of whatever sort, maybe brunch. And she was there on her own dime. She was not scheduled to be there. She was there because they were she was asked to come in. Even if you put that aside, the back of house will get paid regardless the exact same wage, whether if it's completely dead. Or if there's people coming in now if there's some outrageous tip do i feel as if the server should offer to give a little extra absolutely but here's the kick it has to be already understood or already have been going on beforehand like if this was a normal thing from that group or you know multiple other groups that come in or just overall for that location in general 
then it will most likely be talked about either during her interview or if at some other shift prior to that. Now, I have personally never had to in, like in, be in that situation, and I don't know how I would react. Honestly, I'd probably do what she did there, probably just fold over and you know, offer the money up and leave with less than what I should have. But this is one of those things that it, it doesn't quite make sense to me. The industry already is hurting. People are not willing to work there anymore. They're out getting you know, real jobs, they're out doing things that don't put that much stress on them because of situations like this. Now, I absolutely hate it when people cry, especially women. It really breaks my heart. So having to see a situation like this, knowing that this woman's in pain, makes me like want to be able to do something, but I know that in reality, I, I don't really have much to offer. But there's one thing I do want to just want to try to do, bring out because of this video. I really want to wait, raise as much awareness as possible to try to help these people out in need. Because in, in addition to this woman having to tip out the back of house, she was forced by the manager to give the initial $100 that another server had offered to that table to pay back. What? In my head, this is the way, I, how I understand it, how I perceive the situation. This money was offered straightforward. This server is willingly giving it up and she was forced to give it back but not only that, the server that initially offered that first hundred dollars willingly took it back. That is the most fucked up part about this in my mind. And I, this really bothers me. So if you gain anything out of this, out of my quick rant, um, I just want you guys to understand this. Just because someone gets a good tip on occasion as a server, as a bartender, whatever it might be, doesn't mean we're doing well off. We look, work ungodly long hours, deal with this absurd amount of stress. And just, we have to deal with a lot of situations like this that don't really make any sense. I mean, maybe I'm bashful, maybe I'm arrogant, maybe I'm stubborn, maybe I'm just being greedy. I don't know. But I do know this. My word for this channel still sticks. I made mention about this uh, a few months ago, and I, it's going to stay true to the moment I start getting everything kind of coming together and for the foreseeable time afterwards. Any money that I generate from this channel through the, the monetization aspect of YouTube and Google AdSense, I will give back to the restaurant industry and to those around me. Now I'm still a ways away from hitting monetization. I have no followers obviously right now, but I have almost no views on every video. In addition to that, I'm not really getting any watch hours either, which is why I'm trying to work on my content. But any money I get, I'm going to give back because there's a lot more people out there that need this money a lot more than I do. So if you guys haven't already, uh, just do me a huge, huge favor. Uh, hit that subscribe button, like, comment for the algorithm, share it to your friends, your family on social media to try to get as much out there as possible. Uh, really try to help me raise awareness for the people in the industry that really need help. Um, and if you ever want a side job, a side gig, start working in a restaurant. It's great money if you're willing to put the time and effort into it. But you have to be willing to understand that there's a lot of stress added as well. Um, I'm sure that you guys have noticed before that, you know, a lot of us servers, bartenders, we tend to break down a lot um, on the job and off the job. I'm not saying this is unique to our profession by any means whatsoever. But... Just kind of remember that the next time you go out, get something to eat, next time you get a drink, just know that we're people too. So with that being said, guys, have a great day, all.